Story time. On this episode, I will be telling the stories of March chapter 15. But first, let's begin with the highlights. Now, highlight number one. Jesus is presented before Pilate. So Jesus is brought before Pontius Pilate, where he is questioned about being the king of the Jews. And despite Pilate's attempt to release him, the crowd demands his crucifixion. And Pilate, who is seeking to appease the crowd, hands Jesus over to be crucified. Highlight number two, the crucifixion. So what happened here is that Jesus is mocked and is beaten and led to Golgotha, where he is crucified between two thieves. And as he hangs on the cross, darkness covers the land and Jesus cries out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Before breathing his last breath. Highlight number three, the burial. After Jesus' death, Joseph of Arimathea, a member of the council, courageously asks Pilate for Jesus' body. He wraps Jesus in a linen shroud and places him in a tomb cut out of rock, sealing it with a stone, while Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph watch where he is laid. Hey, do you cringe like I do when someone misquotes a Bible story or quotes a verse out of context? Well, on this platform, I tell Bible stories in full chapters to help you get the full context. So whether you're a believer, a skeptic, or just curious, welcome to the narrator. Let's journey together. Mark chapter 15. And straight away in the morning, the chief priests with the elders and scribes and the whole council held a consultation and bound Jesus and carried him away and delivered him up to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are thou the king of the Jews? And he answered, saying unto him, Thou sayest. And the chief priest accused him of many things. And Pilate again asked him, saying, Answerest thou nothing? Behold how many things they accuse thee of. But Jesus no more answered anything, insomuch that Pilate marveled. Now at the feast, he used to release unto them one of the prisoner, whom they asked of him. And there was one called Barabbas, lying bound with them that had made insurrection, men who in the insurrection had committed murder. And the multitude went up and began to ask him to do as he would want to do unto them. And Pilate answered them, saying, Will ye that I release unto you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that for envy the chief priest had delivered him up. But the chief priest stirred up the multitude, that he should rather release Barabbas unto them. And Pilate again answered and said unto them, What then shall I do unto him whom ye call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him! And Pilate said unto them, why? What evil has he done? But they cried out exceedingly, Crucify him! And Pilate, wishing to content the multitude, released unto them Barabbas and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away within the court, which is the praetorium, and they called together the whole band, and they clothed him with purple, and plaiting a crown of thorns, they put it on him, and they began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews! And they smote his head with a reed, and spat upon him, and bowing their knees, worshipped him. And when they had mocked him, they took off from him the purple, and put on him his garments, and they lead him out to crucify him. And they compel one passing by, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to go with them, that he might bear his cross. And they bring him unto the place of Golgotha, which is, being interpreted, the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mingled with mire, but he received it not. And they crucify him, and part his garment among them, casting lots upon them, what each should take. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. And the superscription of his accusation was written over 
the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right hand and one on his left hand. And they that passed by railed on him, wagging their hands and saying, Ha! Thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three days, save thyself and come down from the cross. In like manner also the chief priests, mocking him among themselves with the scribes, said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, now come down from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him reproached him. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which is being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of them that stood by, when they heard it, said, Behold, he calleth Elijah. And one ran and filling a sponge full of vinegar, put it on a reed and gave him to drink, saying, Let be, let us see whether Elijah cometh to take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud voice and gave up the ghost. And the veil of the temple was rent in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion, who stood over against him, saw that he so gave up the ghost, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. And there were also women beholding from afar, among whom were both Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James the Less and of Joseph and Shalom, who when he was in Galilee followed him and ministered unto him, and many other women that came up with him unto Jerusalem. And when even was now come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, there came to Joseph of Arimathea, a counselor of honorable estate, who also himself was looking for the kingdom of God. And he boldly went in unto Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate marveled if he were already dead. And calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. And when he learned it of the centurion, he granted the corpse to Joseph. And he bought a linen cloth, and taking him down, wound him in the linen cloth, and laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of a rock. And he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. And Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph beheld where he was laid. What are your thoughts about this chapter? Let me know in the comments and hit the like button to get more content like this.